You're listening to The Building Code. I'm Tom Houghton. I'm Paul Worth. Hey, and on this episode, we've got a great episode dedicated to one of our favorite features, the owner portal. And joining us to talk about it is Nick Pitch, training coordinator here at Builder Trend. Welcome, Nick. Thanks, Tom. Hi, Nick. Happy to have you in the podcast studio. Paul, I'm happy to be here. First time? On a podcast, yes. Great. We're ha- <laughs> yeah. He's Don't been worry. in the room before, I think. We'll be gentle. Yeah. We're excited to have Nick. We are. When we've got a great topic for everyone today. Again, the owner portal is one of the best features, in my opinion, of Builder Trend. We've got a lot of features, though, so they're all kind of my favorite. You would love the, the owner portal if you were a homeowner getting a, a new home built or remodeled done. Absolutely. Right, right up your alley. I would be logging in all the time. You like information. I do. I think most everyone likes information. I, that's why I think Google is so popular. What was that again? Google. That's right. I've heard of them. Yeah. Alphabet. They're kind of a big deal. Yeah, they are. Yeah. That's great. We've got Nick here. We're talking about the owner portal, uh, the place where clients of our clients can log in to see the progress of their job up to the degree of information that that client wants to give their owner, right? You may not want to share with them all the details of the job, all the nitty gritty. But we give you those customization options. And that's what is fantastic about this. So Nick, give us an overview. Let's start at the very beginning. Who should be using the owner portal? Well, I honestly think any of our clients, so builders or contractors that use Builder Trend, um, that have, you know, an, an actual paying client. So, you know, not a, maybe not a large volume production builder that, that's just building homes and later selling them. But if, if you're a contractor and working directly with a homeowner, um, you, s- you absolutely should be using the, the homeowner portal because it creates a level of transparency. Yeah, transparency that, as Tom spoke to, is very valuable in the eyes of a consumer in 2019. And of course, that that won't be going uh, down. That'll only be going up, right? In every part of our life, we have access to some sort of transaction we're doing with the company, right? You can log in to see your phone bill, all bills actually, log in to see your bank accounts, Status you can you can pretty much do everything, everything right? online. Is there one thing in your life that you can't log in to see? Like you're, there's like an online area for? No. I'll mm-hmm. tell you which one. Tom, oh, there you go, Nick. The biggest investment you make in your home or a purchase of a new home, if you're not using Builder Trend. Boom. Right. I felt like I just walked into a setup there. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah, you did. That was a good one though. That was good. No, yeah. I mean I, I think to to touch on Nick's point, um, some of our clients uh, again. Home builders and modelers, especially contractors and commercial mm-hmm. clients, sometimes they feel like maybe a job is too short to even for it to be mm-hmm. worth setting up the owner portal. But I would argue that because a it takes thirty seconds to set somebody mm-hmm. up. B you should be using it in your sales pitch, no matter what up front. You should be saying this is one of the reasons you should do work with me as a contractor because I'm going to give you access to your job whether it's three days or three years. And C there's value in setting them up even post job, right? Yep. Like putting all the information they need in there to go back and get that information, whether it be decisions they made, like selections, colors, things like that, the documents that were important to them during the job, the photos of the job, so they don't have to call you every Mm -hmm. time to do that. That's a good reason too, right? Yeah. To add on to what you're saying, Paul, in my experience working with our clients, um, when they first sign up with Builder Trend, most contractors are telling us the reason they're looking for a project management software is to improve communication, mm-hmm. right? Either internally or with their, their clients because they're busy. It's an extremely busy industry. So, you know, once you get that contract, a lot of times the homeowner is just kind of left in the dark, you know, and, and they, they have to ask for updates instead of just having them provided to them. Right. Correct. Yeah. And then that back and forth communication takes more time that the builder could be using towards the project. So, to your first point, the homeowner portal is very easy to set up. You can have default options, um, kind of like what Tom said earlier, and you choose what level of transparency, how much information you want to share with the homeowner when they get logged in. Um, but your, your third point was after the project's complete, the homeowner can continue to have access to that portal. They can log in. They can even enter warranty claims there. Right, which will cut out emails, phone calls, and other communication if there's you know some sort of defect down the road after the builder has moved on to another project. Yeah, that's a great point and a great sub feature of the owner portal. 
Um, communication is the number one thing people complain about mm -hmm. uh, in the construction industry from a client point of view is that they don't feel like it got communicated clearly enough or often enough um, around the schedule, their job, some of the milestones and like what to expect. So the client portal is an easy way to do that. But more importantly, it keeps a record of said communication, which if you don't do a good job of that could really get you when it comes down to legal problems or mm -hmm. disputes you have during or after the job. There's often times our clients come to us and say, this this type of accountability and tracking the who said what when and time and date stamps have really helped them uh, with their liability, right? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Um, I mean, there's agreements that can be formed between a builder trend client, client, the, the contractor, and their their homeowners. Um, be it the actual contract, the sales contract for the for the build itself, um, change orders, um, and selections even. And like you said, those are date and time stamped. Um, since Builder Trends, a you know a secure website where an individual has to have a username and password to get into it, um, it's also you know recording the individual that's performing that action um, and, and requiring a signature has legal disclaimer language and, and all that's included. So yeah, that's a good point. Let's let's dive in. You know, let's hop on the diving board. And let's let's dive right into the features that that are found in the owner portal. There's a lot of features to cover here. So, like you said, change orders. I mean, you can give access. These are all things you can give access mm -hmm. to. You don't have to show right. these, but yep. change orders, schedules, to dos, because you can have homeowners complete to dos. You can assign them. They can create their own to do. Even better to themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, let's let's go through that. So uh, the most widely used part of the owner portal, in my opinion, and I think the data we have would would back this is being able to upload and share photos with your owner, mm -hmm. with your client, during and even after the job, right? Yep, absolutely. And that's front and center in the owner portal when you check that out. We'll probably give you like a screenshot of that um, in the show notes. And um, one of the neat things when you share uh, certain photos, because again, you don't have to share them all. Mm -hmm. uh, when you share those, when somebody clicks on those photos, there's some really cool options um, within that pop-up, right? Right. Um, from the homeowner side of it, when they look at those, the photos that are shared with them, uh, they can do a number of things. Uh, first and foremost, they have the ability to add comments. So the open communication remains right there. And, and the beauty behind comments in Builder Trend, and it's almost a universal feature, is that if I'm looking at a photo of maybe some cabinets that have been installed, and I have a question, adding that comment is adding it directly to the photo. Right, so the dialogue takes place with the item where the question or additional information lies. So you're not having to piece it together later down the road. It's it's all taking place in, in the right spot. Dialogues, yeah. dialogues better than what I say. Usually, I try when I explain. It, it's like you know the he said, she said. Yeah, dialogues that's a little better. cleaner. That's better. Yeah, that's why Nick is our training coordinator right, right there. That is why. That's absolutely right. Now, we'll, we'll get into his. How about this? His there's his role. Today. There's more yeah. to the photos too. There are yes. So, but wait, there's more. <laughs> wait, there's more, Paul. That's a Hollywood thing. That's me. There you go. Call now. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Nick, call call the podcast hotline. Yeah. So the homeowner also has the ability to share those photos that they like via their social media accounts. So right within any individual photo that, that the builder has provided them in their owner portal, they can go in and share that on Facebook or Twitter, uh, put it up on Pinterest as well. So it gives them the opportunity to, to share with friends and family this, like Paul said at the beginning of the show, this large investment that they're making in their life and, and their family um, with people that they care about, you know, by pushing pictures out, you know, socially. This is one of my favorite features because it is free marketing for your company. Mm -hmm. You're going, I mean, w the goal of anytime you're working with somebody, right? You want a happy customer and happy customers, sh you want them to share that experience and Builder Trend makes that easy to do with these social integrations right there in the owner portal. Mm -hmm. So they can share them to their Facebook account and instantly your company has marketing that is out on somebody else's page. Uh, we talk about this a lot in my class that I teach at Builder Trend University. And uh, again, I can't stress how important this is to be using this feature to leverage that marketing for your company. Sure. And yeah, did you know though, that by sharing your photo to Facebook, you've just shared it to uh, a place that has 360 million active users. That's a powerful network. That, that's a very big network. Huge. Yeah. 
Very big. <laughs> Very big. One other thing on the photos. Yes. Because I think homeowners really do love you know, pictures that get shared with them. Absolutely. Um, through the owner portal... If I'm a if I'm a client of a builder and I have access to Builder Trend, I can actually set up guest access. So my friends and family would be given their own unique username and password that they can log into to my Builder Trend account. But our engineers have designed it in a way that those the guest access they only can see photos and the building schedule. They can't see any financial information or other things that you you ne- wouldn't necessarily want to share with friends and family. It just gives them access to your your pictures that your your uh, your builder has shared with you. Yeah, so, that's, a, that's a little known feature. So you'll find that uh, in the in the setup cogwheel when you're on the owner portal, mm-hmm. and it says guest access takes two seconds to set up. So when Uncle Tom wants to see the status of the cabin, you can just give him guest access. <laughs> There's a lot of levels. To that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the true time. What what else you got for us, Nick? <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. There's, there's a lot going you know, on here. Uh, photos is probably the most widely used, but what's another good one, Nick, that, that you'd see? Well, kind of in the, the same stream of thought would be daily logs. Sure. Right? It was a, it's like your progress reports. Yep. Um, some of the clients that I've talked to that have visited us here in Omaha at BTU that use daily logs really well, um, I, I, I even heard someone say they... They have uh, like a communication promise with their clients in their contract where, you know, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, the homeowner can can assume that they're going to get a daily log on those days. So it, it's going to eliminate the homeowner reaching out for updates because they know two days a week they're going to get a daily log that has notes, yeah. photos, videos, even weather conditions. So yeah. um, that, that's a pretty solid feature that I think a lot of um you know, homeowners really appreciate because it, it's an all encompassing, you know, what's taking place this day or this week. And it, it shows them a, a great deal of information all in one spot. And again, back to the daily logs, when you're creating those, you have the option at the end of the log to specify who you want to share that with. Yeah. So let's say you you don't want to share something with the owner. You can obviously uncheck that in the daily log. So that way it doesn't go to the owner portal. So they won't see it there. A hundred percent. Daily logs are really easy to create uh, as a contractor. And you know, with everyone having smartphones these days and with our mobile app, uh, daily logs can take a, a minute to create because you use talk to text, record a video, weather conditions, and you can have a daily log that's for your internal records and then create kind of a nice uh, customer facing daily log that you'd send out to, to the client. And that's going to be in the owner portal. And, you know, those two actions probably take you three minutes. Yeah. You know, tops. Yeah, we like to coach our users on doing that on, on a regular basis, whether that's mm-hmm. weekly, biweekly, or monthly. I would recommend weekly and like on a Friday. It seems, makes a lot of sense. But what's really cool is you can actually use our to-dos feature to remind yourself every Friday and or somebody, a user in your account to do this. Mm-hmm. Just create a recurring to-do. Yeah. There's a recurring Kind of a newer there. feature that rolled yeah. out a few months ago, the ability to copy a, a yes. to-do and make it reoccurring. Yeah. So there's a little tidbit for the for the users listening out there. So some other cool things, and like in a different category, would be the financials of the job. Mm-hmm. That's something you would be able to share uh, through the portal, which yep. obviously people are interested in. Um, so not only would it, could it be like an overview of, of sort of where we're at on the job progress, mm-hmm. you know, the original cost, any change orders or selections mm-hmm. overages that we have, uh, minus any payments they've made, but um, you can also get into really the full budget if you want to. Yeah. Right? So the first item you're talking about, I believe, is a job price summary. So mm-hmm. the homeowner has access to that uh, right from their summary page, right when they get logged into the, the program. And like, like uh, Paul said, it gives a full breakdown. It shows the contract price plus any selection choices or change orders that the client has agreed to so that you can easily, in, in one click, as a homeowner, see your financial commitment to the builder um, based upon the decisions you've made. Um, Kind of second part you said there, like the financial information, you can receive invoices as the homeowner through the software. And like we kind of talked about earlier, everything that you own or do, you can access online, right? And with our online payment feature, the homeowner can actually make payments to the builder through Builder Trend. So either use an e-check or credit card, uh, they have the ability to log into Builder Trend like you would any other account that you have. And simply make a payment. 
Yeah, we've partnered with the Chase Bank uh, subsidiary to do this. And so if you're listening, you're, you haven't activated your online payments. There is a uh, there's a pro services team here at mm-hmm. Builder Trends. So just call your coach, contact your coach, and they'll hook you up. Yeah, it's a great service, not only for the consumer, where it, make, it makes it very convenient for them to pay for their project. You get paid faster, but you can also reverse that and pay your subcontractors mm-hmm. and vendors through a purchase order area, yep. which we'll do a special on as well. That's we'll, right. A little teasing yeah, there, Tom. That was. And each builder trend client, so each builder has their own dedicated payment consultant. So that payment consultant will will walk you through, if you're one of our clients, walk you through how to set up your your online payment system, uh, share best practices with you. And they'll also help not only get subcontractors, but also the, the homeowner set up too. And they'll, they'll get on the phone with uh, the client, the homeowner, and, and walk them through the setup and make sure that they feel comfortable using it. Awesome. Let's wrap up with maybe like your favorite, what's something that maybe most people don't know or maybe your favorite feature of the owner portal? Me or Nick? Nick. 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 Yeah, the listeners want to hear from Nick. Not me. Yeah. Got it. Wow. I got a couple. A lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, we've already talked about daily logs. I think sure. that's That's a major. huge one. Yep. Um, but change orders, um, I think, is 100% necessary to, to be used by contractors with their homeowner because, again, it's that safeguard against, like Paul said, the, the he said, she said at the end of the project when it comes down to invoicing for the final amount, too. Um, it, and it can be signed off on uh, on the mobile app as well. Uh, I think that'd be another one of my my favorite features is that your homeowner has access to all they need wherever they're at. You know, just pull out your your iPhone or your Android device, and homeowner can log in and uh, access that stuff. And you know, we actually have one of our customer success coaches um, prior to working here. She and her husband built. Uh, their new home and their builder used Builder Trend. And so she speaks a lot to her experience using the mobile app and she go through and make selections, you know, when she's sitting, you know, at a doctor's appointment with her kid or something like that. So uh, just the, the freedom to, to have that information and share and, and make approvals when you need to. That's awesome. And yeah, we're definitely not making this up. We've got testimonial videos that we'll put in the show notes uh, from actual customers of our clients and their experience with the owner portal. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's a game changer for sure. So, yeah. Can I, can I go? Yeah. Oh, you want to get asked the question too? I have two tips. How about this? Ooh, two tips. PW's tips. Ooh, a new segment. (laughs) Like to welcome you all to a new segment, (laughs) uh, PW's tip corner (laughs) on the owner portal. There's two and these are kind of unique ones. Nick, so not, not too not too long ago, we released a new feature feature on the owner portal, which was essentially the profile pick of mm-hmm. the actual clients, right? So the idea would be when they signed in, there could be a picture of the couple, right? Mm-hmm. We get we get their picture and they can see themselves. It's personalized to them. Well, sometimes you don't have that, right? Right. So our coaches will give you give some tips to to our users, like a if you're doing a new home, take a picture of the empty lot, put it there, yeah, or the design of the home. Ooh, that's Put good. that there. Yeah. Right. There's another way to look at it too, which okay. I love. Um, one of our clients actually puts a picture of the project manager that's going to be oh, their contact. Yeah, that's good. So they see a friendly face. They know yeah. who they're working with. Another great one is in the video section of the owner portal. Create a welcome video for your business introducing the client to your entire team, right? So take a video of everybody in your team. Could even be an informal video, like you're just walking the job and specific to that job site. Like, hey, Susie and Sam, can't wait to work with you guys. Here's Tom, your project manager. Here's Nick, your designer. We can't wait to work for you. Have it ready for them. The video takes 30 seconds and it's very personalized. You speak like you've come to the build your brand with video class before. What was that? (laughs) The class. We talk about that all the time. Which class? Build, build your. Tom has a class at Build the Trend University called Build Your Brand Video. That's true. And you do talk about that. We talk about that all That's the time. Good. Templatizing that so that way when they log in first to the owner portal, it doesn't look empty. You know they've got some content. And again, we talk about how they can use that video that you create to share that on social media. And mm-hmm. again, that's just free marketing for you. It's great. And Paul, tip. Mm-hmm. to that, to the video idea, mm-hmm. um, which is great. 
Thank I can you. tell you came up with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> Appreciate that. In Builder Trend, the, the builder actually, when they're working with videos, has uh, an area called global videos, mm -hmm. right? So that's video storage. It's not job specific. And you could put that marketing video in a folder in your global videos and share it once, Yep. right? And you just set a permission level for your homeowners to be able to see that folder. Any job you create moving forward, your owner will have access to that video. Love so it. it's going to save you time to uploading that. And yeah, I think that's a great idea. Set, set it and forget it. Hey, if, if anybody does this right after listening to this, email us at podcast at buildertrend.com and tell us tell us your story let us let it or even send us the video and yeah we'll share it on the show notes and things like that i think that's a great tip for everybody i agree absolutely awesome nick thank you so much for sharing your knowledge of the owner portal with us uh that you have a lot of knowledge so we'll kind of use that to transfer into talking a little bit more about you sure uh, we didn't do a fantastic job introducing you at the very beginning but you have been around builder trend for quite a quite a long time i think yeah, I have. Um, I've been in uh, this in our previous two offices. Um, I started as an employee here in 2014, so okay. about five and a half years ago. That's pretty six good. Six years in the spring. That's a good run. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good time. Well, let's ask uh, you some fun fact questions, sure. if you don't mind. Tom's favorite uh, segment. That's right, Nick. So you are a self-proclaimed building code super fan, and uh, so we we're curious. Two que two part question here. Mm -hmm. What has been your favorite episode and why do you love the building code so much? So let me, let me answer the second part first. Oh, okay. Um, entertaining show. You guys do a good job. Uh, I enjoy the, the dynamic between the, you two. Oh, thanks. Uh, yeah. It's a, Appreciate it's a good that. pairing. Thank you. Um, favorite show. Wow. They're all pretty good. Um, maybe I could spin this and say favorite part Ooh. of the show. Okay. Um, I really enjoy kind of the background story of like when you've interviewed our clients, like where, how they got started. Um, can't remember who it was, but there, there was somebody that was, uh, did commercial building and on the side was like doing carpentry. Was it, I'm not sure who it was. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think it was at a, somebody out of Boston. But oh, Nick from NS Builders. Was he that Nick? Yeah, he's, he was right? working for He was a, doing side jobs, like yeah, models yep, and building cabinets exactly and right. stuff like yep. that. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that like the stories that our clients have about how they have kind of grown these successful businesses is I, I just find those uh, really good. Listen, it's, it's interesting to see kind of like the, the drive and uh, you know, it's sometimes you're much like builder trend, you know, you, you have an idea and a passion and uh, you just kind of have to, to gut it out for a while and then you end up on the other side with something pretty awesome. Yeah, we talk, to, talk about that a lot with all of our guests is like, when, when did you make the jump to start your own business? Yeah. I think the that's leap. really interesting. The leap, we say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Next up, I wanted to ask you, so you, one of your roles here, or your, your main role here at the company is to train all of our customer success managers. It's a fact. So I, I'm glad that my facts are factual here. Yeah. Uh, so can you give a little bit of background on that role, like what you do here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I myself was a, a customer success coach for, um, three and a half years or so. And for the last two years, I train our new employees that will, uh, that start in the customer success department, um, to be our coaches who essentially are the individuals that our clients speak to on the phone. And, uh, they, they teach our clients how to use the software and best practices. Um, that training program uh, usually we have classes of employees from maybe eight to 12 people at a time, and it's about eight weeks of curriculum. So uh, we have to learn the entire software in and out, become experts of it, and then learn how to train clients. So um, it's fun. I, I'm kind of lucky that I get to, to work directly with you know, the vast majority of the people that work in our department uh, and spend their first eight weeks of work with them. You know? Sure. It's an important role and we're, we're really glad we've got you in the position there. I think you do a fantastic job and we have a really great team in the customer success department. So that's a, a part of a testament to your, your hard work there. So thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks Tom. So outside of uh, training mm -hmm. and being an avid, avid podcast listener, True. what is, what, what's a, your top favorite hobby thing to do outside of work? Oh man. Um, wow. 
You know, I, I don't lead a terribly exciting life outside of work, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunate, uh, as that may sound. Well, we'll be the judge of that. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, favorite things to do, I, I, I like sports, you know, uh, living at Nebraska this time of year, I'd, I'd usually go to, to Lincoln on Saturdays uh, in the fall for Husker football games. Um, but the, the vast majority of my time is spent with my wife and my two girls. I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old, so... Um, I end up in a trampoline or on a swing set or rolling down a hill or something like that. Uh, that that's where most of my time is if I'm not here with you guys trying to make the company better. That's a really great like image there. Like, it could be a whole commercial. Just set it to peppy music and yeah. Nick jumping in a trampoline. Yeah, exactly. On a swing, rolling down a hill. Fantastic. Paul, you know, like... You, I have you, four girls, so yeah, yes, I, yeah. I do. Well, you got that bum ankle uh, a while back, like jumping a trampoline. We're getting older. It's uh, it's a very <laughs> dangerous situation. <laughs> We're not, All the things you just said are very dangerous. Yeah. For yeah. I, mean, yeah. I go home, rolling down a hill. So I should have just said I go yeah. home and take risks. <laughs> yeah, you're a risk taker. So you actually, yeah, I roll, live on the I edge. Mean, jumping on trampolines, rolling yeah. down a hill. You have a very exciting life. Yeah. Very yeah. Edgy. yeah. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, that that was that. Those are three questions right there. There it is. So uh, you know we did it. Maybe there's a bonus question. Do you have one? Yeah, of course. Okay. I always have one in the back pocket just in case. What was your first job? Very first job. Very first job. Uh, landscaping, actually. Oh. Yeah. I really enjoyed it too. It, you know, it's kind of nice to work outside. That was in high school during the summers. Sure. Uh, yeah, I was a landscaper in Lincoln. Nice. How about, how about you, Tom? What was your first job? My first job? I worked at a movie theater. That's so on brand. It's yeah, so on brand that. for me. Unbelievable. Yeah. Good. What nice. about you, Paul? Wait a second. <laughs> this is not supposed to be our episode, but I know. you I did it again. Tom it slinging popcorn. Flinging popcorn? Slinging it. You know, so like, slinging. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Popcorn, popcorn. Yeah, yeah. You get popcorn. Yeah. Nine dollars, ten dollars. What are you, Oprah? There, you get popcorn. <laughs> yeah, you get popcorn. Exactly. No, you have to pay for it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they hate it when I did that. Yeah, yeah. Stop giving away the free popcorn. Yeah, Tom, 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 yeah. Tom never <laughs> yeah. works there. Yeah. Uh, what was my first job? Um, you know, I worked at a golf course. I think was probably my first job doing maintenance. Go. Yeah, I'd say that's on brand for you too. Yeah. yeah. Actually, can I'm I amend I'm my like answer? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what you want to change? Yeah, there was one before landscape. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's hear it. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger, my mom owned a bookstore with a friend oh. in Lincoln, and uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. And on the weekends, sometimes they'd have like a special event where they read a certain like child book series. Sure. Mm -hmm. So me and my younger brother would get to dress up in those big costumes, kind of like a mascot costume. And uh, you know, we were in our teens, but then we'd have kids jumping all over us and you know, knocking the head off, and it, you're you're sweating in there. But uh, sounds terrible. Yeah, <laughs> I but think I would have stuck with landscaping. Did she pay you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. My parents yeah. wouldn't have paid me. Yeah. Like, you're <laughs> like, Should I have been paying taxes rate? back then? I was only yeah. like 13. Well, yeah, that you've just yeah. incriminated your, your your mother here. <laughs> What's, it's the a What's the statute of limitations on that? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to her know. lawyer. Cut that too. <laughs> maybe yeah. maybe this won't even make it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Sorry, Mrs. Pitch. Yeah. Tough beat for her. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, thank you so much for joining us on The Building Code today to talk about the owner portal. We had a great time uh, getting to talk about that feature, but also getting to know you a little bit. So thanks for sharing. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it, Nick. Appreciate all your hard work that you've done here over the years. You're a great uh, employee of Builder Trend, and we couldn't do it without you. Thanks, Paul. You bet. Same to you. Want to share a suggestion for a future guest? Have a question about Builder Trend that you'd like us to discuss? Or a topic that you'd want us to cover on the podcast? Let us know by calling and leaving us a message at 402 Five nine six six four three seven. That's four zero two five nine six six four three seven. And who knows? You'll maybe hear yourself on the podcast. Love what you heard? Don't forget to rate and subscribe to our podcast so you can hear from more guests that will benefit your business. Also, please check out our show notes page for more information on what we discussed on this episode. You can find it at buildertrend.com slash podcast. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time on The Building Code. Appreciate you.